talked about Intel sponsoring the show now for 14 years, and the fair for 14 years. This is Google's first year as a major sponsor in the fair, and I thought it would be, it'd be really interesting to have Larry share his insights with us in terms of, you know, so why is this interesting to Google? What's important here? Well, first of all, congratulations to all of you. Uh, let's give you all a round of applause for getting here. I think we are uh, incredibly lucky to all be involved in technology. And I think that there are so many opportunities available in technology still, uh, and there's so few people working on it. Uh, and so for us, it's probably the most important thing to get more young people like you all really involved in science and technology, because that's how we're going to solve the big challenges that we have in the world. Absolutely. Hey, Larry, have you, did you ever participate in a, in a science fair as you, you were growing up? I actually uh, wasn't qualified enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so you all beat me by being here uh, hugely. The only thing I ever did was build a, a Pinewood Derby car. Uh, and we, uh, I should have done it. I got second place, so it was a lot of work. Yeah, it might, it might be interesting for you to share your thoughts with, with uh, the kids in terms of what is it that got you interested in computers and computer science and, and the web? Uh, I think I was really lucky that I got my first computer uh, when I was six, which was, uh, I guess at that time it was 1978. So it was, uh, it was pretty unusual at the time. So uh, I'm probably not here because of any particular ability I have, but I was just exposed to that very, very early on. And I think uh, you all are in that, are in that same uh, sort of thing where you're, you're really interested in this and excited about it and good at it and there aren't that many other people uh, and so that, that's a really great place to be. Well, you know, if you had to give them, you know, one or two pieces of advice in terms of, you know, how to start a company like Google or how to go and find the right career path, what, what would you leave them with? Well, I think the uh, thing I've been surprised by is it's often easier to do harder things. Uh, it sounds really funny, but uh, if you try to do something that will really affect the world and you know be a really big deal, like we said, oh, we just want to index all the information in the world and make it available to everybody. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That seems like a pretty really useful thing. But if you work on something like that, uh, you find you know the other people who want to help you are, are really great people. Everyone gets excited. You know, People start giving you resources. And so it's often easier to do something that seems harder. But it's really good to pick those things that are ambitious, but also doable. And uh, there's a great phrase I like, which is to have a healthy disregard for the impossible. <laughs> Amen.